dear students, welcome to session one of our HKICS student gatherings. I'm Louisa Lau, Registrar of the Institute. And today I'm pleased to have Mr. Charlie Chan on my right hand side, Product Manager of Waters Crew Hong Kong Limited, as the speaker for today's webinar session to share with us on the topic, how to use Prime Law Online Platform to study for HKICS CGQP examinations. I'm glad that we have uh, students from both Hong Kong and mainland for today's sessions. Before going into the today's session content, with the launch of Chartered Governance Qualifying Program CGQP from June to January, I would like to give you an overview of the e-learning resources that you have. The e-learning is convenient for you to prepare the CGQP examinations. And with your student account, you can register and then you will access, have access to the e-learning resources, including uh, the student's materials, past papers and pilot papers. Today's session is recorded and you're welcome to review this webinar in our website in future. If you have any questions, please feel free to email your questions to student account and we will give it back to you. Let's move on to today's topic. Charlie, please. Thank you, Louisa. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Charlie uh, from Water School Hong Kong. Thank you for joining the first online training section today after the launch of uh, CGQP. First of all, uh, I hope everyone is well and staying safe. And ap apologize that I'm wearing extremely casual today and with my antivirus outfit. Usually they will see me wearing uh, suit and ties, but hope you guys don't mind. So uh, before we start, I will just spend uh, 30 seconds to share with you what Water School is doing as a business. As you may know, what is cool uh, is a uh, publishing company, and nowadays we sort of position ourselves as a technology company providing online expert solution for uh, to governance, legal, tax, and accounting professionals. For example, like smart contract management solution, audit automation software, AML name checking solution, and tax filing and reporting software. Um, so for today's agenda, uh, there would be four parts to be delivered using both PowerPoint and online live demonstration. First, I will share with you a quick walkthrough in setting up your HAICS student account. Second, I will provide you with an introduction on how to assess all CGQP study material and what are the differences among all CGQP modules. Third, I will share with you some tips on how our online platform can enhance your study experience. Lastly, there would be a Q&A section in case we have enough time. So he, here goes uh, part one. Uh, as you can see the PowerPoint slides, we have, a, we have developed a uh, special link for all HICS students to set up the account. So if you can click on the link highlight in yellow, it will actually direct you to our uh, registration pages. Um, you will exactly see what you can see here. So uh, on a side note, I have prepared the PowerPoint for today's training by including a lot of hyperlinks. So you can just click the links and get to where you need to go. So now you just have to fill in your full name as per your HAICS student card, your email address, your seven digit HAICS student numbers start with 47 and your China or Hong Kong mobile phone number. Sorry. Yep. So um, we are on the registration pages and where we are now, um, we, are, we are at the web, uh, SMS web verification code part. Mm. After you enter your mobile Hong Kong or China mobile phone number, and then you get a four digit verification code. 
And after that, you just have to click the tick here, press submit, and your trial account should be good to go. When we set trial account, there's actually no difference from the activated account. You still have full access to all CGQP study material, but as we will send your information to HCICS for verification purposes, in case you provide wrong information, your trial account will be expired in one month. Or if the HCICS has verified your Or if the HCICS has verified all the information provided is correct, our team will activate your account. And as long as you remain as a student of the Institute, you will have access to our platform. So that would be your access period. At this point, you will be receiving one last email from us, which is the confirmation email, which included your login ID and password. For this slide, uh, when I was actually reviewing my PowerPoint last night, I wasn't feeling 100% comfortable and I thought I could do one more step to make sure everything is super clear. So as you can see on the uh, left hand side, I actually used my name and my email address and a fake HAICS student number to try register my HAICS DigiQP student account. So uh, just a kind reminder, uh, the mobile phone number for Hong Kong students should be in this format. So it is the area code slash the four digit of your mobile phone number slash and then the rest of the four digit. For China, for students located in China, um, the format is actually uh, the area code and your mobile phone number. There's no slash in between any digits. So for example, it would be Eight six one three eight, and then the rest of the digit of your phone number. And if you get the format right, you will receive a uh, four-digit SMS verification code. This is actually what I received last night. So just your just for your reference. So um, I would like to share some quick tips with you regarding our online platform. The access periods, as we mentioned earlier, would be valid as long as you remain as a student of the Institute. And your login ID is your email address. And um, there's one question that uh, we always, uh, always get from the student is that how long do I have to wait until we get the account activated? So generally speaking, your account uh, will be activated within around 10 working days maximum. And as for download limitation, um, currently the download limitation is 300 documents per day and 2000 documents per month. And based on our experience for students using their Gmail account, your confirmation email is prob probably sitting in your drunk mailbox so uh, it would be advisable for you to add our emails to your safe sender list. So basically we have uh, two email address that you would consider to add to your safe sender list, which is uh, the first one is HAICS at waterscrewer.com. And the second one will be info at wkinfo.com.cn. And we know accidents do happen from time to time. So uh, just in case you cannot set up your account properly or cannot receive the SMS verification code or simply need some assistance from us, please send us an email to CGQP customer service account, as we mentioned before, which is HAICS at waterscrewer.com. Let us know the below details, included your full name, email address, HAICS student number start with 47, and your mobile phone number. And one of our team members will assist you and will create your account manually as soon as possible, generally speaking, within 48 hours. If your account is created by our team, 
the default password for your account is CGQP2020. And we strongly recommend you to change your password as soon as you log in. So uh, now you finally have your account set up and it is time for us to go through how you can access your CGQP study material. So the screen on the left is showing the home page of our platform housing all the eight modules of your uh, CGQP study material. I will just change to a so here we go. Uh, this is the home page of your CGQP student account. Just navigate to the commentary section and all the eight modules of your CGQP study material are located here. Um, so for all the core modules of uh, your CGQP uh, study material uh, will be put on page one. So that included co corporate governance, uh, corporate secretarialship and compliance, Hong Kong company law, interpreting, interpreting uh, financial and accounting information, strategic management and risk management. Uh, for the second page, we actually put uh, two elective module on the second page, uh, the boardroom dynamics and Hong Kong taxation. Okay, uh, let's go back to our uh, PowerPoint. We have uh, go through that. Um, for now, we would will, will like to talk about uh, the module Corporate Secretarialship and Compliance and the Hong Kong Company Law. Um, basically, for these two modules, uh, one localized study material is developed for these two modules. And for other modules, except for Hong Kong taxation, that included uh, corporate governance, risk management, strategic management, and interpretation of uh, financial and accounting information Boardroom and boardroom dynamic. Uh, the ICSA study materials are adopted and Hong Kong supplement is prepared based on the latest syllabus and integrated into the relevant chapter of that specific module. For example, I will uh, do an online live demonstration uh, so you get a uh, very clear, a very good idea on how to find all the Hong Kong supplement for those uh, uh, modules. Let's use the risk management module as an example. Once you click in to the module main page, you will see a brief section <clears throat> summarizing the learning outcomes and we had we actually did a lot of work, work to make your study experience more uh, effective so we have included a link here so if you click this link it will direct you to the syllabus of that modules and for the hong kong supplements for this module we have prepared a quick summary for you to uh, for your reference so you have a very good idea on where the Hong Kong supplement of this specific modules is located. Uh, 
As I know, the Hong Kong Supplement for the Risk Management Module is located in uh, Chapter 1, 2, and 3. We, if we navigate to Chapter 1, and we can see the Hong Kong Supplement at the end after the chapter summary. So there we go. This is uh, your Hong Kong Supplement of this module. Um, just in case, our development team has included a uh, remarks here, so you can easily uh, find out if it is uh, the, the content from UK or if it is a Hong Kong supplement for this module. So um, now we will uh, provide you with a quick walkthrough on what is actually included together with your uh, Prime Law online platform, uh, platform account. So basically, uh, we are the tax accounting and legal, legal business of what is cool and your account is included uh, the all Hong Kong legislation, judgments of Hong Kong and UK cases, and a selection of commentary. Um, so basically, uh, all Hong Kong legislation are available, for example, like the company ordinance, uh, in the revenue ordinance, and relevant ordinance will, uh, to the CGQP materials is actually linked for your easy reference. And also, a selection of Hong Kong and UK cases judgment relevant to the CGQP study material, for example, the Hong Kong co company law modules are linked. And as you know, we are a uh, publisher, commentary relevant to the CGQP that published by our company are available for purchase as add-on. Now I will again do a live demonstration uh, of how you can uh, uh, maximize your learning experience by using our platform. For now, I, I will go through uh, how to make notes within our platform. So. Uh, this is the Hong Kong supplement pages. And as if you can, if you would like to make notes or highlight relevant contents, you just have to press the uh, right button and then you will be able to make notes. Um, just for, for your uh, reference purpose, I have already uh, prepared an example here. So this is the annotation that I made previously. So all your notes will be available on the right-hand side of the uh, content. And you can also navigate to the setting part. All of your uh, search history, browsing history, and annotation are available under the uh, setting. So for example, uh, I was uh, browsing the Hong Kong company law module and there we go. This is the uh, notes that I made previously. It would be here. So you will never lose anything um, by uh, using our, our platform. And in addition to the uh, legislation link, that are integrated to get uh, with the uh, uh, with our study material. We also provided some uh, useful use, useful link to uh, the government's website. For example, the module corporate secretaryship and compliance, chapter four. The chapter four is related to uh, TCSP, and our contributors has included relevant links to the company registry website for your easy reference. 
this slide is actually covered earlier. So uh, this is the print screen of how you make a make notes or highlight relevant contents, and it also show you show you how you can retrieve your all the notes that you have made earlier. We have also prepared a list of useful ordinance available by our via our prime prime law platform related to CGQP. So they are all hyperlinked. So as long as you have logged into our platform, you will be by clicking the link above, you will be able to direct yourself to the main page of that ordinance. For example, the uh, AML ordinance. Okay, there we go. Um, I clicked the hyperlink before as I am, I have already logged in. It, it bring me to the uh, AML ordinance homepage. Uh, so you can, uh, it would provide you with a interactive approach to read the CGQP study material and browse the relevant legislation and cases or uh, commentary side by side. And in addition to the features mentioned above, there's one last thing that we would like to cover, and this is related to other reference material published by our company related to CGQP as optional add-on. Uh, we will we return to the live demonstration again. The optional add-on commentaries are located below all of your CGQB contents. For example, I will just uh, use the Hong Kong Company Secretary Practice Manual as a reference. Um, if you navigate to the uh, the tit titles, the list of titles, you will see the brief, the the offers, the content, and the features of our publication. And if you press view, it will automatically send our team a message. Then we will provide you with a free trial for uh, reading those uh, relevant material uh, for your uh, CGQP examination. So uh, that concludes our first CGQP online training section. Uh, I will pass the mic back to Luisa. Um, thank you, Charlie. And I hope that uh, with Charlie's um, uh, brief on how to use our online study materials with the uh, Prime Law uh, platform. Uh, most important of all is that from the Institute perspective, we would like our students to make the most use of this platform. Not just really reading uh, page by page, but make use of all the links and that you can go further for your study. And as uh, the time constraint, we may not have the Q&A for this session, but I would like to remind our students, first of all, always check the HKISS login of your own account and update uh, yourself with all the messages or information we sent to you. And then also you can access to the pilot papers and past examination papers. And secondly is that if you have not, I think, if you have not yet registered with the Prime Law Online platform, please do so. And that you know that uh, all these study materials are free of charge to our students. And finally, as I've said before, for all uh, queries relating to CGQP or relating how to use the Prime Law online platform, please write to uh, our student account as shown in this slide. So finally, if you like today's presentation, please give a like. <laughs>
to our to the HKISS Facebook in the below. And I would like to remind you, we we'll still have two sessions on the 9th and 10th, and then we will have our panel chairs to walk through with you the syllabus of the eight subjects and about the examination structure and with some guidelines or tips to you how to prepare for your examinations in the coming months. And thank you, Charlie, for coming to the Institute at this particular time. No worries. Yeah. It's our pleasure to come. Okay, so um, we will end this session now. And thank you for all your attendance. Send us the email if you have further queries. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.